Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and this is the series where we try to complete The Sims 3. We start this episode off with everyone asleep except for Pete, who is still working from home. So let's skip ahead a few hours until we get a bit more action. And here in the middle of the night we now have Ayesha awake and well rested. And as you can see on the top left of the screen she will now begin collecting again. But it just takes a few minutes until we get interrupted. There is an emergency at the hospital and Ayesha needs to help out. So let's send her over there and we can use this to raise our work performance a bit. This actually comes in handy because we want to reach level 10 of the medical career today with Ayesha and this allows us to get some extra work in and then get the promotion during the normal shift later. And just as Ayesha begins work we can see her opportunity has paid off. In the last episode we had her read a book for that and as we can see here her job performance has increased as a result of that. The next person awake in the complete household is Paul, who thanks to the perfectionist trait will spend a few minutes every day to make his bed, which I have to admit is a bit annoying, but it also boosts his writing and painting, and painting is the thing he'll do next. We will begin another large painting, and then just a few minutes later have him stop again. His carpool arrives shortly, he has a second day of work ahead of him, and before he leaves we want to get a quick shower in. While Paul is cleaning himself up, Patrick is awake now as well. He will grab another rather unhealthy breakfast in the form of a muffin. And then Paul can leave for work. Now in the last episode we barely missed a promotion, therefore we are pretty much guaranteed one this time. So instead of doing some actual work we'll have him practice writing. That should also help his side career as an author. Over at the hospital, Ahisha's emergency shift has ended. She made a bit of money and if we look in the work tab, she has to be back in about 2 hours. So let's use that time to collect a few more gems, rocks and metals. Going back home is not really worth it at this point. But speaking of home, here we have Patrick who has just finished his breakfast and is now also done with his morning shower. And with just a few more minutes until the school bus arrives, we can send him off to school early today and tell him to talk to his friends. Patrick already is an honor roll student, so we can't go any higher performance wise. We might as well boost our relationships a bit. Let's jump back over to Ayesha, who's almost ready to take on her next shift at the hospital. Right now she is still collecting. Once again, I think I said this a few episodes ago, I think it's highly unlikely that we will complete the collecting skill with her, but collecting is actually a pretty good way to make some money on the side, and now that we have unlocked a few of the higher level cuts already, the more valuable gems can be a real money maker. So now let's send Ayesha back inside of the hospital, and by the end of this shift she should get the promotion to level 10. Back at home with Pete, we can have him stop working from home after quite a few hours now. We earn a nice amount of simoleons for that and Pete can now check the mail. Last episode I sent a few gems away to be cut, this time not to put them on display but strictly with money making purposes in mind. And while Pete now goes to bed we can sell those and come very very close to the magical mark of 50,000 simoleons in cash. With Pete asleep and everyone else at school or at work, we can skip ahead to the end of the workday for Paul. First of all, he gets a rather tiny payment, but then much more important, the promotion to level 2 of the journalism career, Paul is now an automated spell checker checker. This also pushes us over the limit of 50,000 simoleons, which equals completion of the swimming in cash lifetime wish. We can now mark that off as completed and that means we have now 9 out of 32 lifetime wishes completed in this series. Back at home, Paul will continue what he started before work and finish his painting. A quick jump over to the hospital, Ayesha has not yet finished her shift, but she has already maxed out her work performance, so we can switch her to a more enjoyable activity than working hard. Immediately afterwards we get asked if Patrick can go over to her friends after school, but we have different goals for him in mind, so unfortunately I don't think so. Instead, now that school is over, he will head down to the park in the city center and continue to improve his fishing skill there. Back at home, Pete has finished his afternoon sleep and will now head for the shower to get his, well, day started. Mm. Mm. 
And then we want to jump over to Aisha for the completion of another lifetime wish. Here she is, exiting the hospital. And just a few seconds later, accompanied by 6000 lifetime happiness points, she gets the promotion to world-renowned surgeon. That means Aisha has now reached level 10 of the medical career and we can now check off the 10th completed lifetime wish as well as the 4th completed career. And just a few moments later another accomplishment. Patrick has made it to level 6 in the fishing skill, now able to catch new types of fish and well on his way to become a masterful fisherman. We could now pick the renaissance sim lifetime wish for him, but we have already completed that with Pete and it doesn't really fit his character, so we will wait for a better one. Back at home we can see the end of Ikisha's quick pit stop, she just sent away the last remaining gem to be cut and will now go out to collect new ones. She now no longer has the pressure to perform at her job and it's also the weekend coming up so we can take a little bit more of a relaxed approach. While she runs around the nature we get the info that Paul has completed his very first masterpiece painting. That's this one right here and let's decorate the living room with that. This should give a nice mood boost to everyone in there, including Paul himself, who now begins the last chapter of his trashy novel. At the other computer, Pete has begun to work from home again. No end in sight for Aisha's collecting spree just yet. In this regard, I'm actually very happy that we have none of the expansions installed. Completing all the collections is hard enough as it is already. We still haven't found a pink diamond, for example. And just think about all the stuff that an expansion like World Adventures would add. I am very happy that we're only doing this with the base game. Now it's almost 10 p.m., which means Patrick's curfew is rapidly approaching. We don't have to care about homework, he will age up to a teenager before school starts again, but he should grab something to eat, so let's send him back home. Back at home, Paul has finished his novel now. That fulfills his wish to write a total of 10 novels. We get a slight increase in the writing skill and 3000 lifetime happiness points on top of that. To raise his fun meter, we can now have him play some chess, and while he does, we can purchase a lifetime reward. We now have over 30,000 lifetime happiness points, which means we now have the choice between extra creative or acclaimed author. Extra creative gives a nice boost to the painting skill, but almost the same boost is given by the perfectionist trait and the boosts do not stack, which means having both of them would be kind of redundant and at least at this point a waste of the lifetime reward. So let's grab acclaimed author instead, which obviously helps out in the writing skill. With the next set of 30,000 lifetime happiness points we will then very likely grab extra creative and then by using midlife crisis with another 20,000 points we can switch out the perfectionist trait for something else. At least that is the plan at the moment. And now by playing some chess, Paul has improved his logic skill to level 5 and with those 5 points in logic and a few more still to come I think, he is now very well suited for another career that I plan to have him take down the line, which would be the forensics path in the law enforcement career. He needs painting and logic for that, so that would fit well, but again nothing set in stone just yet. And here we have Aisha who now after a very long but fulfilled day of working and collecting makes her way straight to bed. She's now actually the second member of our household next to Pete who doesn't really have anything left to do. For her of course we have the collecting thing, but in terms of real completionist goals for this playthrough, she has done everything I wanted from her. With needs like hunger and sleep becoming a bit more important for Paul now, let's have him grab another muffin to eat. The same thing then goes for a returning Patrick, and then Paul can go to bed first. Patrick can clean up, and he seems to be disgusted by the food. I hope he hasn't eaten anything spoiled, then the night could become a bit more unpleasant. Well, we can only wait and find out. However, not in this episode, because right now we make the cut. For the next episode, I have a few things surrounding Ghost's plant. I won't say much more and that might change, but just a friendly reminder that Pete still has the Oh My Ghost opportunity. We'll see what we can do with that. For today's episode, however, I can say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!